In this example, a careers leader looks at their starting secondary questionnaire data to identify the areas of strength in their programme for Year 7 pupils. Firstly, the careers leader selects Pupil Questionnaire on the navigation bar. Then they click on the Summary Report on the second tab. To start identifying areas of strength in their programme, the careers leader sorts the students' answers in the Careers Knowledge and Skills section of their questionnaire by positive responses. The careers leader then looks at the questions that have received the most positive responses from Year 7. In this example, they can see that the highest percentage of students, 63%, answered question 7 positively. Question 7 asks students, Do you know any trustworthy websites that can help you decide what to do in the future? Earlier in the term, all Year 7 pupils had completed a Benchmark 2 activity about trusted online sources of careers information. The careers leader can see from their questionnaire data that the majority of pupils are now confident in knowing where to find this information. As the activity was successful, the careers leader makes a note in the activities notes section to copy the activity into next year's plan. The careers leader now looks at the essential skills for life and work section of their starting secondary questionnaire data. Again they sort their questionnaire results by positive responses. They can see that one of the questions that received the highest number of negative responses, 67%, was question 4, working well with others by respecting different opinions. The careers leader also sees that question 2, solving problems by thinking about positive and negatives of different opinions, also received a high number of negative responses, 70%. By looking at their data in this way, the careers leader sees that their Year 7 pupils, while scoring high positive responses for using their own ideas, are responding negatively to questions that ask them to reflect on the way they work and collaborate together in groups. Using this intelligence, the careers leader looks for resources on teamwork within the Skills Builder Hub. This is accessed by selecting Careers Partner Skills Builder Framework on the navigation bar. After selecting appropriate resources, the careers leader also decides to speak with a teacher of a practical subject. After discussing options with a science teacher, a decision is made to invite a guest speaker from a local pharmaceutical company to come in and give a careers talk about collaborating and respecting individual opinions. The careers leader creates this activity for each Year 7 form in Compass Plus, with Benchmark 4 as the main category. By creating the activity and assigning it to Benchmark 4, the careers leader knows that the activity will contribute to their overall benchmark scores. They will also be able to see how the pupils' scores for working collaboratively in groups have improved the next time they complete the Future Skills Questionnaire.